My name is Drew Teller. I'm an access technologist specialist working from Vision Australia's Denning office. You only have to see, you only have to hear how much everybody's talking about it. How prolific things like the Meta Ray-Bans have been in being taken up by the low vision and blind community. And I think, you know, once again, that's the beauty of this mainstream technology is that when you wear a pair of Ray-Ban Metas, you don't look like any different to anyone else who's wearing a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, right? On the street. And that's one of the things in particular I hear a lot of people are quite concerned about. They want to just blend in. They want to be part of the general social fabric of what everybody else looks like and how they move and what they do. I guess I'll start off with the generalities because I think a lot of the time it's the bread and butter features that are actually the most helpful for most of the time. So one of the things in particular that make the Ray-Ban Metas very powerful is, is just the fact that they're hands-free. So somebody can have their phone in their pocket and basically answer a call or make a call or do other things. So even from that idea of just being able to use their voice to ask, very similar to the way that you would use Siri or use Gemini on a, an Android, except for the fact that you're just talking to your sunglasses. And the beauty of that is you still have, you don't have to have anything in your ears because the way the, the Meta Ray-Bans work, they actually project the sound down into your ears. So you've not lost that environmental uh, awareness that comes with that. So, you know, the real basics, one of the features that I love the most is just having a message read out automatically. So for example, a text message comes to you from one of your contacts and it will immediately read it out to you. So that can be really helpful. Some amazing features, the way that the camera in the glasses work and you're able to hold an object, get it described for you or, you know, have a description given of a room that you're sitting in. So you just literally say, um, tell me what I'm looking at, or you know, give me a detailed description of this room. So even within that, they've added some extra features where you can get a detailed description that is more suited to people who are low vision and blind, and will actually describe where, like, so doorways are, and locate like exits and entrances, as well as items that would be of importance. So noting that there's a table in front of you that you're not gonna just get up and walk in, into. And I've heard people use it, you know, chairs empty on this table to know when they're approaching a table whether or not they could sit down there. The introduction of Be My Eyes, which is a, you know, obviously has been a phenomenal app for people in the low vision community. It basically gives you the ability to connect with a volunteer who speaks your language. Well, the beauty of having it in the Meta Ray-Bans is the fact that you don't even now need to be pointing your phone at the right thing. The camera is in the left side of the glasses. So wherever you're looking at, that volunteer can now see exactly what you're seeing, which is phenomenal because A, it's hands-free, but you're not having to hold your phone. And for a lot of people with low vision, they don't know whether they're pointing their phone at the right thing. And the volunteer would have to say, you know, I'm looking at something else not what I think you want me to be looking at. So um, really powerful in that regard. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. opportunity.